taking things with a grain of salt when it does come to evaluations like what are I know no pads and everything today but how, what do you get out of a day like today well that's why when you got the staff and I give Robert and staff a lot of credit so if you want to sit there and say hey can we both sides see a bunch of man coverage because you want to see who can beat man on third down so um, you're able to have that spirit of cooperation so you're evaluating who can beat man coverage or you get in certain things, you put them in situation in the red zone. And, you know, it's hard to gauge the runs because we know we're not tackling. So if you run it down there, is it on the two or do you score? You know, those are subjective. That's why I appreciate our staff. Like, it'd be easy to go down there and holler every play like a, like a cheerleader with a pom-pom that you scored. But it's all, it's all situational stuff taken with a grain of salt when you're doing these practices. And then the no pads, was that a decision that y'all both came to, you and Robert? Or, or? Yeah, he just asked me if, because, you know, you look around and – a lot of times the second day, I think the, in, the injury rates tended to be higher. Um, so we thought it was best for both teams if we could get that work to allow us to work man cover stuff and, and whatnot. What have you seen from a guy like Taquan in his second year uh, up front? TQ? Yeah, I think he's had a good camp. We want to see that obviously um, on Sundays. But everything he's done so far, he, he looks like he's made a significant leap. And uh, hopefully he shows up on the games. There's many things you want to accomplish in the preseason game. What's at the top of the list when you leave here after we get yeah. the second preseason game? What's at the top? Yeah, are we better than we were a week ago? Uh, some of the mistakes that we made, again, that's um, some of the internal stuff, operation stuff that we want to clean up, we want to see progress. What are the five things to watch in the game on uh, Monday night? Yeah, it'd be the same thing. I, you know, the way that they, against their front, uh, you know, how we hold up and, and pass pro. It's always a good evaluation. See if we can keep the penalties down. Um, you know, see who shows up in those, in those critical downs. Third down, fourth down, or down in the red zone. What about special teams? Same thing. You know, we get, get an opportunity to try to cover some kicks. Who can make those plays in space? Who can make blocks in space in the return game? All those things you're looking forward to. And uh, how did the line do today? They look about the Yeah, again, you know, and that's where you got to be smart. If you don't cooperate with somebody, you can have some – some bad collisions when you're not in pads. And, and if you got guys that don't know how to practice the right way, now you're getting into some of these pick games that aren't real when you're not in pads. And so I appreciate that. So just keep it in perspective. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that was getting ready to go to just running sprints to get ready. I mean, it just it seemed like he never stopped. Never stopped. I thought he made a good play on the first snap of the two-minute drive. Um, that's why I was I was having some fun yelling at Flacco, uh, and I like Joe a lot. I think he's been a really good pro for a long time.